was another cracking season in 2017 as the 34th UIM F1H Duo World Powerboat Championship produced some of the best sporting action on water. It was a year of thrills and spills, heartache and jubilation, pain and glory, as nine teams and 23 of the world's top drivers went head to head over six rounds to see who would be the UIM F1H2O world champion. The 2017 UIM F1H2O World Powerboat Championship kicked off in Portimao, Portugal, before heading over to Evian for the Grand Prix of France. In round three, the tour went to the Far East for two Grand Prix in China, the Grand Prix of Harbin, followed by the Grand Prix of Liu Zhao. Then the season culminated with the final two rounds in the United Arab Emirates, the Grand Prix of Abu Dhabi, followed by the traditional final round at the Grand Prix of Sharjah, where the World Championship was decided. Defending World Team Champion CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team is led by three-time defending world champion Frenchman Philip Schiap. He was out to defend his title and get his 2017 campaign off to a winning start in Portimao in his quest to become only the second driver after Guido Capellini to win four consecutive world titles. Shiop's new teammate, his son-in-law and World Endurance Championship partner, Peter Morin, an experienced racer who will be competing in F1 H2O for the first time in 2017. Always one of the top teams on the tour was Team Abu Dhabi, led by legendary 10-time world champion Guido Capellini. It was the only team running three drivers in F1H2O in the first round. Alex Carella of Italy is a three-time consecutive world champion and always a world title contender. His teammate Daniel Kamzi is a legendary veteran and former world number two, while their third driver, Rashid Al Kamzi, is a very talented F4 graduate with multiple F4 and Nations Cup wins to his name. Mad Croc Baba Racing Team was led by two-time world champion Sammy Celio, who had his best year on the tour in 2016 since clinching his second world title in 2010. The 41-year-old veteran is looking for a third world championship to add to his trophy collection. He was joined by fellow Finnish driver, the ever-improving Philip Roms, who finished sixth in 2016. One of Dubai's most famous international sporting brand names, Victory Team has brought in former Abu Dhabi and Emirates team manager Scott Gilman to lead the Dubai outfit, which features last year's world runner-up Sean Torrente, a tower of consistency who finished in the top four in all seven races in 2016. Torrente was joined by another former Emirates team transfer, Ahmed Al Hamali, who won a memorable seventh Grand Prix title in Liu Zhao in 2016. He's sure to be a valuable addition to the victory team machine. Emirates team, formerly EMIC, boasted Norwegian sensation and the only woman driver on the tour, Marit Stromoy of Norway, who is a former pole position winner in Portimao. She was joined by German former F4 driver Mike Shimura, who was on his second year on the tour and looking to build on an impressive three top 10 finishes he managed as a rookie on the tour in 2016. Team Sweden had one of the best seasons ever in 2016, spearheaded by one of the most exciting and aggressive drivers on the tour, Jonas Anderson, who got his first Grand Prix win since 2008 in Abu Dhabi. The five-time Grand Prix champion would be looking to carry that form into the 2017 season, joined by Eric Stark, who returned to the team he started his F1 H2O career in in 2012. 17-year tour veteran F1 H2O racer Duarte Benevente flew the Portuguese flag for F1 Atlantic team, joined by Australian Grant Trask, who had already proven he could race with the best of them in the two Grand Prix he entered in 2016. Blaze Performance Team was led by one of the most successful drivers on the tour, veteran Italian ace Francesco Cantando, a man who boasted 12 career Grand Prix wins. He was once again joined by teammate Bartek Marszalek of Poland, who was improving year after year with strong qualifying and race performances. Also back in Portimao was Maverick F1 team featuring two Frenchmen, Cedric de Guin, who had a fourth place result at Evian in 2016, and newcomer Amori Jossam, who would be racing in F1 H2O for the first time. Now let's see how the season unfolded round by round. F1 
managed to a World Championship launched its 34th season with the opening round of the Grand Prix of Portugal in Portimao, which hosted 15 of 16 UIM F1 H2O World Championship Grand Prix in Portugal. Raced on the Arad River, the Grand Prix of Portugal is a seven-pin circuit with one right-hander, tricky river conditions and tides to deal with, and three straightaways over 400 meters in length. The BRM qualifying was postponed until the final race day. Two straight days of gale force winds meant there would be a single session with all 19 boats on the water. Ahmed al Hamali went out and he crashed out. Bitter disappointment for the Emirati and for victory. It was a huge crash and he looked doubtful for a race start. At the end of qualifying, Sean Torrente won pole with a blistering 42.80 second lap time with Al Hamley second, Stark third, followed by Alex Carella, Philip Schiap, and local hero Duarte Benevente in sixth, cheered on by his home crowd. The final seconds before the race, there they go, the first race of the 2017 season is on. Torrente has a great start, leaping out in front, leading the field to the commitment buoy. Torrente dominates to the first buoy. Behind him is Philip Schiap and Eric Stark as they come around neck and neck. Philip Schiap has overhauled Eric Stark. The Frenchman is in second, giving chase to Torrente. Stark in third. In lap eight, Torrente maintains a five second lead over Schiap, but Torrente's in trouble the next lap. Sean Torrente out with engine problems in lap nine, and Schiap storms into the lead. Stark now in second. Celio moving up into third. A feisty battle is unfolding for fourth place between Bartek Marszalek and Duarte Benevente. Marszalek under pressure from Benevente, and the Polish rider takes out a buoy. That will be penalized. Bad blow for Marszalek, who would be given a one-lap penalty. And there were just two laps left in it as Eric Stark kept up his pursuit of Schiap right till the end. But it was heartbreak for Stark with just two laps left, an engine failure robbing him of at least a runner-up finish for Team Sweden. Philip Schiap defends his title and wins a second Portuguese Grand Prix in a row. Celio finishes runner-up after the Stark exit. And third place goes to Duarte Benevente. The Portuguese driver caps a brilliant and tenacious race off with a well-earned podium in front of the excited home crowd. Philip Schiap is the Grand Prix champion. Benevente on the podium. Corella from 15th to 4th. A best ever race result for Marshalek. A sixth place for Deguin. Grant Trask, 7th. Stark 8, Morin with two points in his first race in F1 H2O. In the team standings, CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team on top. F1 Atlantic in second after two great results from Benevente and Trask. Matt Krokfaba third. UIM F1 H2 a World Championship returned to Evian for the 21st Grand Prix of France, round two of the 2017 season. There couldn't be a more perfect setting for the world's premier marine motorsport racing series, as the crowds once again flocked to the shores of Lac Le Mans in their thousands to watch the Grand Prix of France race with a stunning alpine backdrop. There's a third driver joining Maverick F1 racing team, Béranger Robert, completing an all-French lineup alongside Cédric Deguin and Amari Jassom. Aclamon is a notoriously tricky course with unpredictable winds and big rollers, making it particularly challenging to find the right setup and negotiate those shifting conditions over a 45-lap race. Rough weather and severe conditions once again forced the postponement of BRM qualifying to the morning of race day. Boats got their first one-hour practice just 30 minutes before going out for a one-hour qualifying session where all 20 drivers were out on the water trying to set their fastest times. The final qualifying results saw Alex Carella once again snatch pole position with a brilliant early lap, his 13th career pole. She up starts in second position with Celio in third beside him, Daniel Kamzi fourth, and beside him is Grant Trask in fifth, Philip Rahm's tenth, Sean Torrente will be rallying up from 15. The parade lap completed, the boats took up their starting positions on the pontoon, and it was on. It's a great start from pole sitter Alex Carella, holding off Schiap and Celio. Along with a pole win earlier in the day, Alex Carella was going into this race with full confidence, and he's driving like a man in control, opening his lead over Schiap. Grant Trask chasing Deguin, and he barrel rolls before... <laughs> Before that 
that tight corner. What a shame for Trask, who is going strong in fifth position. Yellow flag, the boats wait for the restart. Green flag goes up, the race is back on. The yellow flag bunch up proves a godsend for Shiap and Celio, who go neck and neck behind Corella in a battle for second position. Sammy Celio does it. Sammy Celio moves into second position ahead of Shiap. Torrente does it. Torrente flies past a struggling Shiap on the outside as Al Hamley locks horns with Shiap. Al Hamley and the two Swedes move past a struggling Shiap, and there appears to be a problem with Shiap. The Frenchman slows and backs down as the two red boats chase the blue victory ahead. Philip Shiap is back on the pontoon as his team works frantically to try and get him back out, but it's no good. His race is over. The curse of Evian continues for the world champion. Corella does it. He hangs in there for a second straight Grand Prix of France win. Alex Corella is the champion at Avion for a second year in a row. Sammy Celio with another runner-up finish. And Torrente completes a brilliant race to move up from 15th and get a podium spot in third. Race results. Corella, Celio, Torrente, top three. Al Hamley bringing in fourth for victory team. Anderson in fifth ahead of Al Kamzi sixth. Stark manages a good seventh place ahead of Stromoy in eighth. And points for Benevente and Cantando as well. Team Abu Dhabi dominates the team standings at the end of round two, with Madcroft Baba just behind and CTIC F1 Shenzhen in third. The 2017 UIM F1H2O World Powerboat Championship headed to China for the Grand Prix of Harbin, round three of the 2017 season, raced on the scenic Hulan Estuary Wetland Park. There were 19 drivers from 12 countries and nine teams competing in the Grand Prix of Harbin, which featured a unique circuit, just four pins, no right-hander and very short, posing unique challenges for the teams and their setups on a freshwater course where winds can kick up out of nowhere. In the BRM official qualifying, it was drama in Q1 as Maverick F1 driver Amari Jassom pushed too hard and went out in a huge crash. Sammy Celio equaled Stark's time, nabbing fifth spot before the Finn crashed out of Q2 with a spectacular barrel roll. Finally in Q3, there were some surprise results as Eric Stark took pole position, Al Kamzi second, Al Hamily in third, Torrente fourth, then Philip Schiap fifth and Sammy Celio in sixth. The Grand Prix of Harbin is underway as 19 boats storm out of that starting pontoon in a dead-on drag race down that starting straightaway to the commitment buoy with Eric Stark leading the pack. It's a very tight battle for third spot as Sean Torrente is squeezed out by Al Hamily and Philip Schiap. Al Hamily moves out and nearly collides with Schiap, but Schiap swerves out of the way just in time as the field enters the circuit. Sean Torrente moves into the inside, going side by side with his victory teammate Ahmed Al Hamili. The two blue boats lock horns down that straightaway, but they're both smoked by Alex Corella, who charges past them and sets his sights on the two lead boats. Further back, Marit Stromoy tenaciously continues to give chase to Bartek Marsalek, trying to regain her position, pushing all out, cutting those turns real tight. Too tight! She takes out two turn buoys, yellow flag. She'll be fined and disqualified for that. She just pushed a little too hard. Back on the green flag, Daniel Kamzi puts pressure on Stark, but Stark holds on. The titanic battle between Corella and Al Hamily continues, but Al Hamily is ducking and weaving with skill, fending off the three-time world champion Italian as Shiap chases the two a couple of seconds behind. Stark is tantalizingly close to his first ever Grand Prix win. It's the final lap. Eric Stark on his way into that final straight to claim his first ever Grand Prix win. Eric Stark crosses the finish line alongside teammate Jonas Anderson, who sees him through, congratulating him even though he's a lap behind. What a victory for Eric Stark. What a victory for Team Sweden, a small team compared to some of those giants they're competing against. Eric Stark is the Harbin Grand Prix champion for 2017. Al Kamzi runner up, Al Hamley on the podium in third, Corella fourth, Shep hangs in there in fifth, Anderson adds five points for Team Sweden in sixth place. In the team standings, big points for Team Abu Dhabi with that second and fourth place finish. Team Sweden up in second, 19 points behind Team Abu Dhabi, with victory team sharing third with Matt Kroc Baba, CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team down in fifth. That win moves Eric Stark up into third place in the world standings on 27 points.
of Schiap. The new world standings leader is Alex Corella, who puts eight points between him and second place Sammy Celio. Al Hamily shoots up to fifth, Al Kamzi sixth, with just 18 points separating those top six drivers. Ujao hosted its 10th UIM F1 H2O Grand Prix, raced on the 68th National Day of the People's Republic, as an ancient nation celebrated by flocking to the shores of the mighty River Liu to watch the world's most prestigious powerboat racing series. The two-kilometer circuit on the River Liu is a technical one with strong currents, featuring five left turns and a tricky right-hander. BRM official qualifying, Sammy Celio pushed too hard and he barrel rolled. It was a second qualifying crash in a row, the Finn season starting to unravel. In Q3, Eric Stark looked like he might claim his second pole position in a row until Alex Carella came out and beat the Swede, the Italian taking his 14th career pole position. The fourth round of the year would be raced in intense tropical heat, posing a severe challenge on riders both physically and mentally. There they go, 19 boats storm off the pontoon, hitting speeds of 100 kilometers an hour as they lock horns on the starting straightaway. Corella off to a solid start, Stromoy falls back as Shia fights for fourth with the field rounding the commitment buoy. 12 laps in, Corella opens a comfortable lead over Eric Stark in second place, but all his hard work is undone by a yellow flag due to a drifting buoy, and the bunch up provides the chance Stark was looking for to have a shot at taking Corella on at the restart. Green flag, the race is back on, Corella is on the ball, making no mistakes as he fends off Eric Stark's aggressive attack. Philip Schiap has an exceptional restart as he nudges past Ahmed Alhamali on the outside, the Frenchman moving up a spot into third at victory team driver's expense. Out in the lead, Corella is just too good on the day. Alex Corella is the 2017 Grand Prix of Liu Zhao winner. The current world number one was flawless from start to finish, and it's a well-earned win for Team Abu Dhabi. Eric Stark, runner-up. Philip Schiap, third. Alhamali holds on for fourth. Torrente with much-needed points in fifth. Daniel Kamzi adding to Team Abu Dhabi's tally with five points. Best ever result for Mike Shimura in seventh. Marshall like eighth. Ramzan Cantando also earning points, but frustration for Celio Stromoy and Anderson. Team Abu Dhabi opens a 29-point lead over second place Team Sweden in the team championship standings, with victory team in third ahead of CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team. Corella extends his lead atop the world standings to 16 points after round four. Stark in second, three points up on Schiap in third, with Al Hamili on 30 points in fourth, Celio slipping further down to fifth. UIM F1 H2 a World Powerboat Championship kicked into high gear as Abu Dhabi hosted the fifth and penultimate Grand Prix of the year, the 25th UIM F1 H2 o Grand Prix to be raced in the Emirates. There were nine teams and 21 drivers ready to compete at the Grand Prix of Abu Dhabi. Both Team Sweden and Emirates Racing Team added third drivers to their teams, F2 ace Eric Eden for Team Sweden and former F4S World Champion Matthew Palfreyman of the UK joining Emirates Racing Team. The Grand Prix of Abu Dhabi circuit is a technical flat inshore course nearly two kilometers long with four left-handers and one right-hander. The event kicked off with high drama in the first free practice as Team Abu Dhabi driver Thani Al Kamzi blew his boat over early in the session, followed by his former teammate Ahmed Al Hamli of Victory Team. In BRM qualifying, there was a shock exit for Thani Al Kamzi in Q1 in the spare boat, and then in Q2, Sami Celia once again rolled and crashed his boat. In Q3, Moritz Stromoy looks set to win pole until the last man of the session, Philip Schiap snatched it from her hands. Great win for Schiap, his fifth career pole position. Moritz Stromoy starts the race in second position. Corella takes third place, Torrente fourth, Stark fifth, Alhamali sixth. The penultimate race of the year, a maximum 40 points up for grabs here and in Sharjah as the countdown began for the Grand Prix of Abu Dhabi. First light, second light, and they're off. The Grand Prix of Abu Dhabi is on. Shep makes a great start, thundering down the starting straightaway. <laughs> oh. 
to the commitment buoy. Shiap keeps his nerve and gets to the commitment buoy ahead of Stromoy and Corella, who give chase to the Frenchman. Victory is Sean Torrente right behind them in fourth as they round the first buoy. Huge crash on race buoy number five. It's Cedric Deguin and Sammy Celio. The Mad Croc Baba team is despondent. What a terrible weekend for Celio. His boat is totaled and Deguin's boat is also too damaged for him to continue. Shiap is on his toes at the restart while Corella makes a bold move on Moritz Stromoy in second, but Stromoy finds the speed on the outside to hold off the Corella challenge. With 19 points to close between him and Corella, Shiap knows it's do or die in Abu Dhabi if he's to keep his hopes alive in Sharjah. Just 15 laps left in the race, Moritz Stromoy has cut the gap with Shiap down somewhat to under three seconds. Corella still in hot pursuit in third, Torrente fourth, and Stark in fifth. But Shiap is too good. Philip Shiap heading past the final turns to the finish. What a race it's been for the Frenchman from pole to finish. A well-deserved win. And CTICF1 Shenzhen China team as Philip Shiap wins his ninth Grand Prix title at the 2017 Grand Prix of Abu Dhabi. Stromoy right behind him in runner-up spot. 20 crucial points for Shiap, but Corella comes in third for 12 critical points. And that means the Italian takes a handy 11-point lead going into the last race in Sharjah. Torrente fourth, Stark out of the title race with a fifth-place finish. His team Sweden teammate Anderson finishes sixth. Daniel Kamzi finishes seventh after starting 13th. Great points for Team Abu Dhabi there. Roms eighth, Peter Morin manages ninth. Grant Trask of Australia gets a point in 10th. Corella's third place finish sees him hold on to an 11 point lead atop the world standings going into Sharjah, which means a top 10 finish for the Italian would seal a fourth world title for him. In the world team standings, Team Abu Dhabi continues to dominate with 99 points. Team Sweden in second place on 66 points. CTIC F1 Shenzhen China third ahead of victory fourth and Matt Kroc Baba in fifth. Sharjah has hosted the UIM F1H2O Grand Prix for three decades, and 2017's Grand Prix of Sharjah would once again be the final and deciding round of the season. The Grand Prix of Sharjah course on Khalid Lagoon is notoriously technical, with sticky water conditions, sharp angles and tight turns, including a tricky right-hander. In BRM qualifying, Eric Stark took the provisional pole early in Q3, but Alex Carella blew everyone out of the water to seal his 15th career pole position and place himself in prime position for the race, as Shiap was only able to manage fifth. Incredible best ever result in qualifying for Bartek Marshalek as he started the race in third behind Alex Carella and Eric Stark. Ahmed Al Hamali fourth, Shiap fifth. Jonas Anderson rounds out the top six on the pontoon. Race day started off with high drama in the morning official practice where victory driver Sean Torrente crashed his boat. He'd have to start at the back. The pressure was on Alex Corella. He faltered here last year, losing the world title to Shiap, so he wanted to avoid any nasty surprises this time round. There they go, the race is on. Great start from Ahmed Al Hamali in fourth position. His blue victory boat first out of the pontoon. Corella and Stark trying to keep up with Al Hamali. Corella leads the race, but Ahmed Al Hamali is pushing in second position, nudging ahead of Eric Stark, while Philip Schiap is buried away in sixth position. A breakdown for Eric Stark on lap 30, but he looks to have still sealed the year end podium despite not finishing the race. Meanwhile, Ahmed Al Hamali in second feels the pressure from Jonas Anderson, the victory driver precarious down that straightaway, dancing around on the water before steadying his Baba boat. But Jonas Anderson continues to push the Emirati. Incredible speed from Jonas Anderson, and he does it. Anderson is in second position. Al Hamali bumped down to third. This was all about Alex Corella from start to finish. He won all three sessions in BRM qualifying. He won pole position, and he led and won the race start to finish here in Sharjah. He is at the perfect Grand Prix. He is the world champion for 2017. There it is, Anderson is Grand Prix runner-up behind Corella. Daniel Kamzi comes in third. What a race for him, too. Shiap fourth. Marshalek ends up fifth. Great result for the pole. Best ever result. <laughs>
Kamarin in sixth, Grant Trask, Moritz Stromoy, Rashad Kamzi, and Duarte Benavente complete the top 10. Eric Eden finishes 11th in his maiden race. The World Team Championships, Team Abu Dhabi head and shoulders above the competition in 2017. What a result for Team Sweden, one of the lesser teams in terms of funding and finances, but they finished the year runners-up, beating the likes of CTIC, F1 Shenzhen China, Victory, Matt Kroc Baba, and Emirates Racing Team. The world champion for 2017, Alex Carella, one of few drivers to win four world titles. She ups dreams of four world titles in a row is broken, finishing runner-up, while Eric Stark finishes third. Great result for him on the year-end podium. Fanny Alcamzi, world number four. Jonas Anderson ends the year fifth. Those two runner-up results in the first two rounds is all the points Celio got for the year. It's always a perfect feeling. I mean, uh, until then, you never, you never think to, to be world champion. But after one happen, is uh, the best feeling ever. I mean, uh, with the life we, with the life we do. And that brought to a close the 2017 UIM F1H2O World Powerboat Championship. See you in 2018.